In this video, we are going to continue with find the equation of a quadratic graph given sufficient information. You will find this on page 25 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Find the equation of the parables x, y and z. And again I'm going to make it bigger. Now this is actually quite a lot. So we're just going to focus first on one. Okay, so let's first focus on x. Do you see there is x? Now, if I see at x, I, it, it's cutting the x-axis, but, but not at exact values. So the best will be to use the turning point. Do you see that? Negative 2 and, and negative 6. And to use an extra point. And that point is 0 and 10. So then I substitute that substitute the extra point get a simplify this and this is my equation x then i go to equation y now let's look at y this is y so let's see oh i have nice x x intercepts at negative two and six and an extra point i can see this you see if it's zero and six it seems to me i did it on both methods here and this is nice to show you that you can either use that the x intercepts as well as the extra point okay so I, I get this I've substitute the extra point I get my value of a and then I simplify or I have the turning point that is 2 and 8 okay so I substitute that and then I substitute my extra point um, I just want to see where is my extra point, 6 and 0, okay, or 0 and 6, rather 0 and 6, and then I'm getting exactly the same. And then the last one, can I just show you the graph again? It's not, you don't have x-intercepts, but you have a nice turning point, and let's see if I have, if I have an extra point, 6 and 6. Or it's using the turning point and the point 2 and 6, it seems to me it also go through 2 and 6 let's just see there it is so it's using this point but it seems to me if I was using this point it would have been also correct okay so I'm again using my formula for the turning point substitute the extra point get the value of a and find the equation so this is a very good example showing you how you can use the different methods just to find the equation of a quadratic um, parabola. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do this one. So there is only one. Just want to make it bigger. Try now 27. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Um, maybe I'm just going to highlight the points. So for this one, I think I can use the x-intercepts because I just want to write it. So it's negative 5 and 0, and it's negative 1 and 0. And this one is negative 3 and 4. Okay. And then this one is 3 and 4. And it seems to me I showed you the extra point. The extra point is 5 and 8. Okay. With that information, I think it's enough to do this example. Let's just make it smaller so that I have more writing space. Okay. Let's start. Try now 27. Let's start with number X. So, I start with the formula, and the formula I'm starting is y is equal to a x minus x1, x minus, oh, sorry, x2. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to substitute that points in. Now, don't forget my points, okay, let's just write it down, negative 5 and 0, and negative 1 and 0. So, it's going to be y is equal to a x minus minus 5, x minus minus 1. 
So y is equal to a x plus 5 and x plus 1. Okay, and now I substitute uh, negative 3 and 4. So I'm in the, okay, don't forget, this is my x and this is my y. So I'm just going to say um, 4 is equal to a negative 3 plus 5, negative 3 plus 1. So 4 is equal to a 2 minus 2. So 4 is equal to negative 4a. I divide negative 4, I divide negative 4. So therefore, a is equal to negative 1. Okay? And now, I'm just going to substitute everything in. I'm going to keep red. So therefore, and it's always that I substitute it in there. Uh, y is equal to negative 1 x plus 5 x plus 1 and if I simplify this I can simplify this then I'm going to get y is negative 1 then it's x squared okay plus x plus 5 x plus 5 so therefore y is negative x squared minus 6x minus 5 and that's my first and that is x okay now let's do y I think I'm going to make space uh, I found x so I can now just do y just using now the other method this is a very nice example testing both methods okay so let's just use the other method so y, now this is the turning point one, so I will say y is equal to a, and don't forget it's a negative, okay, because the sign must change. And the turning point, don't forget that the turning point is 3 and 4. So if I substitute, uh, don't forget that this is p and this is q. So y is equal to a x minus 3. Can you see the different sign? Plus 4. Okay. So substitute the extra point in, and that's 5 and 8. So I will find, uh, okay, don't forget again, this is x, this is y. So in the place of y, it's 8 equals a. And in the place of x, 5 minus 3 squared plus 4. So 8 equals a, 5 minus 3, 2 squared plus 4. So 8 equals 4a plus 4. So 8 minus 4, it's 4, equals 4a. So therefore, a is equal to 1. Don't forget, I'm substituting it there. So, let's go on. I'm going to make it read. So, y is equal to 1, x minus 3 squared plus 4. And now, just simplify this. Now, remember the short way. So, it's x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 4. So therefore, y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 13. And that will be your final answer. And that is, that is, what is the equation again? That is y. Okay.